Hello YouTube, welcome back. Sitting Sandy's here, I know I haven't posted in a minute. That's because I've been pretty much injured most of the summer. And my bike's been broken. Comes, uh, comes with when you ride hard and you fail hard, you gotta lay down pretty hard too. So uh, right now, I'm playing some Assetto Corsa. When you look up sim hand control, or hand control drifting on the internet, there's only one video online, it's Rob Parsons and his hand control S14. So I figured, why not get a little bit into the niche market and show some videos of me sim drifting in uh, hand controls. I've got this controller made by 3D Wrap, got an accelerator and a brake. I've got my six speed gearbox, I've got an e brake, I've got a Mesa R5. So let's get after it. I guess I got the bragging rider, but I also do all of my drifting single-handed because my right hand is all like clutch, e-brake, gearbox, throttle, everything, and my left hand just drives the car. Mostly driving there with the throttle. Just gonna keep it where I want to. Just drive right on that wall there. Get closer to the outer clip here. And get back out to the inner outer clip. Follow the inner clip on this one. Seven thousand four hundred twenty points. Nice.
stuff like that. Cut off with me to talk while I do it. I'm gonna definitely have to practice on the uh, talking to the channel on Friday around. But you know, if you guys drop me a follow and a subscribe and all of that, follow on my progression as I get better at talking and drifting. Because it takes a lot, a lot of concentration. Especially the fact like I am paralyzed and I can't use my legs, so. Get after it. All the way out of the outer wall. Oh, too much into the wall. Well, that's it for a quick few laps. Um, let me know if you want to see more content like this. Like, subscribe. Follow along and uh, drop a comment telling me what other tracks or other resources I should get and drift with those. So, cheers. Have a great one. Peace.